Hello, welcome back to A Boring Revolution, your number one news source for everything in regards to The Boring Company and Elon Musk. Welcome back, my name is Will. Today's talk is going to be about the TBMs. I thought we could talk about the improvements that are going to be made to improve the TBM and obviously make it a much faster, more cost-effective process. So today we're going to talk about flaws, limitations, upgrades and redesigns. Uh, the Boeing Company TBM. How will the Boeing Company reinvent 80-year-old tunneling technology? Well, they'll obviously use physics first principles. Elon Musk has used this many times in the past, and it has proved very, very useful for him. It has allowed him to reinvent previously um, stagnant industries and build companies worth billions of dollars. A first principle is a basic assumption that cannot be deducted any further. Aristotle defined a first principle as the first basis from which a thing is known. First principles thinking is a fancy way of saying think like a scientist. Scientists don't assume anything. Hence why a level of innovation in certain fields is so high. Okay. So SpaceX cut the price of launching a rocket by nearly 10x while still making a profit. Musk used first principles thinking to bring to sorry to break the situation down to the fundamentals, bypass the high prices of the aerospace industry, and create a more effective solution. They are now the market leader. So they went from being a startup uh, probably around a decade ago maybe slightly more, and they are now the market leader by quite a way, a way away. Here's a good quote. If I had an hour to solve a problem, I'd spend 55 minutes thinking about the problem and five minutes thinking about the solution. Okay, so the Boeing Company TBM. The Boeing Company's future machines will be a huge evolutionary leap from existing TBM ma manufactured in Germany and Japan. The main components of the machine will be fundamentally redesigned, re-engineered, and parts of the construction process reimagined. So a lot of elements of the machine will stay stay the same, but in and around the edges, the actual process itself and the way the machine is operated, that could change dramatically, resulting in a machine that is not only vastly faster than previous machines but also a lot more cost effective at building and boring out these tunnels how can they achieve these success or how can they achieve this success so this is going off elon musk's talk at the start of the year he listed all these elements as areas that can be improved and i've gone into detail and i, I put my own thoughts into this how they can quickly improve the TBMs. So, one, full automation of segment erection, increase TBM output, allow simultaneous excavation and construction for increased throughput in the tunnels. Number one, automation. Tesla has significant expertise in complex automation at Fremont and the Gigafactory. So obviously they have extremely good people and extremely good knowledge of building uh, cars, motors, all sorts of things and using automation, uh, literally eliminating the need for people to build these components. Therefore, they can take a lot of that knowledge and expertise and apply it to the TBM. Thus, it'll be a lot easier for them to redesign certain elements and ensure that less people are operating that TBM. Essentially, it is driving itself. Segment erector will need to comfortably assemb assemble 20 to 35 rings per hour. That might seem like a lot, but you could essentially make the rings maybe smaller to uh, allow them to be more easily handled. Um, it can be done. The technology is there. It's just that it needs to be implemented. Lighter precast concrete segments may make assembly both quicker and easier. That is definitely an option, totally use totally different uh, mixes of concrete, maybe use different types of re reinforcement, maybe use a hybrid. Someone suggested on YouTube using carbon fiber. I've seen that used in small bridges, 
it's an excellent material maybe as a hybrid solution this could be very useful however i personally think they'll probably stick to good old concrete because it, it it's proven it's a proven material it's tried and tested and we know it works the boring company will produce its own specialized high strength concrete the concrete mixology has improved greatly over the last 40 years we've seen vast improvements and therefore i expect the boring company to make a further iteration of concrete that will be purpose built or purpose designed for tunnels tbm output Tesla has significant expertise in manufacturing electric motors in large volumes for nine years. They are a leading expert in the USA in electric motors. So if anyone can build a better motor for a TBM, it is Tesla with the help of the Boeing company. They will utilize much more powerful electric motors. I imagine that would be fairly easy for Tesla and the Boeing company to do. They will double the number of the motors inside a TBM. So not only are they increasing the power, they're increasing the torque as well, which will enable the cutter head to rotate more times per minute, thus going through the rocks much quicker. 100% battery powered like a drill. A lot of TBMs have complex cable networks leading to the entrance of the tunnel. Having a battery powered unit will not only increase the power, it will also enable the TBM to move forward much more easily without worrying about extending cables all the time. Simultaneous excavation and construction. Now, this is a complicated area. There is a good reason why your thrust cylinders are based at the face of the machine, working on the previous ring beam or, or the segment ring. Therefore, re-engineering this part is difficult as it will interfere with your critical path. So in terms of what order or what sequence the jobs or tasks are completed, they, will, they could possibly do it by utilizing numerous footholds and jacking points along the full length of the TBM. There's many ways they could do that. They could use uh, segments that have purpose-built um, openings so they could actually insert micro bore piles into the bedrock and then use those as jacking points. They could also use modified tunnel lining segments, i.e. with openings in them, and then they could jack from those openings. And obviously they would need more hydraulic jacks because the jacks would be spread out all over the length of the TBM, possibly around 40, maybe 30 meters from the face of the cutter head. It would be complicated, but it could be done with a bit of thought. It's never been done like that before. However, that is how you do it if you want to do simultaneous excavation and construction. Throughput in the tunnel. If you imagine the tunnel is like um, a, a cable, so you've got broadband and then you've got fiber optic. Obviously, you're putting a lot more data through a fiber optic cable. That's how we need to think of this, uh, this tunnel. We need to get things through the tunnel quicker, so muck coming out, segments coming in. The amount of tonnage we can move through that tunnel per hour needs to increase dramatically if we are to make the process a lot faster for constructing tunnels. Easily, the most simple solution is to use dual lanes, use a narrow gauge railway, 530mm to 660mm uh, gauge. That way you can get two trains in that tunnel and have sections of track where you can switch over, allowing both the muck to come in and segments, uh, sorry, muck to come out and segments to come in at the same time, 24 hours a day. Electrify all muck trains and increase the top speed to 14 miles an hour. Obviously, if, you, if the trains are moving faster through the tunnel, you can get the muck out quicker and you can get the, uh, the segments in quicker and get all the materials and components in a lot quicker. Therefore, that makes perfect sense. You've not got poisonous fumes from diesel trains. They will also need a battery train, which will be a very um, powerful battery mounted on the train that will go up to the TBM and mega charge it very rapidly every three or four, maybe five hours. That way the machine won't run out of power. Thank you for watching guys really appreciate all your support the channel is doing superbly we are coming up to 700 subscribers i never thought this was going to be possible this year 
Uh, we've had a massive surge in activity. Uh, we've got videos with thousands of views. Uh, all I can say is thank you to everyone supporting the channel. Thank you to everyone who comments on all the videos. I really enjoy talking to you. I really enjoy discussing ideas, uh, coming up with new concepts, coming up with uh, new ways that the Boeing company can improve its processes. Please comment in below if you have any ideas or any thoughts on what I've discussed in today's videos. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. The event is still going on for the 18th of December. I will be covering that live. Hopefully, I will have someone in the actual event. Also, hopefully, it's live streamed on the Boeing Company YouTube channel. Therefore, I get the best of both worlds. You'll get excellent coverage. It will be live. Uh, more information is coming in the next three to four days. Stay tuned. And remember, guys... Don't be boring. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.